Hey guys, this is Ollie here from I Will Teach You a Language. Now today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step example of how I learn vocabulary or one way that I go about learning vocabulary. To do this, what you're going to need is oh, let's start a new one. You're going to need a blank Microsoft Excel workbook and you're going to need a browser, that's it. Um, so let's let's see if we can find some um, something to study. Let's imagine I'm going to spend a few minutes studying Spanish, and uh, we're going to go for here we go, easy news in Spanish. Let's see what it comes up with. Um, okay, we've got a dodgy translation for a start. Here we go, BBC Mundo, news in easy Spanish. Sounds good. Go through to the website. Um, okay, so Nelson Mandela's died today. Very sad news. Um, what have we got? Okay, what about this? El instinto, la mejor prueba del amor. Sounds interesting. A little bit trashy, but interesting. Um, so, instinct, the best proof of love. Let's just imagine we're looking at this first paragraph here, and that's going to be it for today. Um, so, ¿Cómo saber si una relación amorosa tendrá un futuro feliz? So, now let's imagine we're kind of at an intermediate level of Spanish. So some of this we're going to understand, some of this we're not. ¿Cómo saber si una relación amorosa? Okay, I wonder what this is here, amorosa. So we're going to control C. Go into Spanish dict. Whack it in. And here we go, it's an adjective and it means loving. Okay, so how can you know if a relación, a relationship, amorosa, so a loving relationship. Okay, so we've learned something new. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take this new vocabulary item and we're going to stick it in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Okay, but we don't want to just put the word on its own in there. We want to have a chunk of language, okay? So in this case, the whole chunk is una relación amorosa. That's what we want to take. So control C, whack it over into column A in Excel, and then we'll stick the English translation here. A loving relationship. Okay, simple as that. Back to the article. How, how can you know if a loving relationship is going to have a, a happy future? Okay, well, that is puesta, según los científicos. So the answer, okay, I wonder what this word is here, según. Okay, so once again, we're going to control C, whack it in the dictionary, look it up. According to, okay, right, so según, according to los científicos. All right, so according to scientists. That's a nice little chunk to, to remember. Obviously, you could swap this científicos for anything, according to whatever, so again, control C, whack it into Excel, according to scientists, let's do one more, no está en las buenas intenciones de los enamorados, no está en las buenas intenciones, okay, so I wonder what this is here, intenciones, again, control C, whack it in, alright, so in this case it couldn't find it, so what are your options? Well, you could go to Google Translate. Intentions, intentions, there we go. And what was the, the whole phrase was las buenas intenciones. Let's just stick that in and see if, if we're right. There we go, good intentions, that's a nice translation. So we're going to take this Remember, we always want to take the chunk, stick it in Excel, and then the English, good intentions. All right, so obviously, with the article, you can carry on ad infinitum. You've got a lot of stuff to learn here. Even someone, I mean, you know, this is, they say it's easy Spanish, but it's, it's not that easy, and it's quite long. So, you know, you've got a lot of stuff to get stuck into here. But for now, we're just going to stick to... Um, to these three chunks. Now it doesn't it doesn't matter um, about the font or the size or anything like that. 
although it probably wouldn't hurt just to make it all the same just for the for the sake of ease there we go um, I don't think that makes any difference um, what's important is in column A we've got the Spanish and in column B we've got the English okay now you could of course you could mix this up depending on your learning style you might not want to have complete translations um, you could do for example una blah 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 amorosa so what's the missing word and then stick that on the other side relacion okay this is called a close c l o z e uh, test so you've got a blank and you have to on the other side of the flashcard you've got um, the answer that will go in the blank. What about here? Según los científicos. Uh, well, that's a bit more difficult. Um, here, as buenas intenciones. Okay, we could have las buenas intenciones. Buenas. Um, or you could stick in, for example, amorosa. You could have uh, the dictionary definition here, or in Spanish, for example. It really doesn't matter. But for now, we're just going to stick to um, those three things. And what we're going to do is take this file and we're going to export it into our flashcards program. Now you, you can use any of the main flashcard programs for this um, Anki Memorize. The one that I use, which is called Flashcards Deluxe, um, has a very simple way of doing it. And uh, all we're going to do, I'm going to show you how we do it in this case. And um, it's we're going to save the file on the desktop as a straight text document. Unicode text works best. Um, and then we're going to save that. Continue. Okay, here we go. So we've got our text file. Looks like this. It's formatted correctly for the, the app. Now, um, you're gonna if you use a different app, you're gonna have to uh, f find out exactly what the process is. But if you go to their website and you search for um, importing from a spreadsheet, it'll be a very simple. Uh, process to do that. In the case of flashcards, all we've got to do is, here we're in Dropbox and we've got a, a folder called Flashcards Deluxe within Dropbox. And all we're going to do is whack it in. And this will be synced automatically to the app, whether you're using it on, a, on an iPhone or, a, or, a, or whatever, whatever device you're using it with. Okay, so here we are on the, on the smartphone and we've got the flashcards app here so we're going to open it up and we're going to click add and then add from Dropbox and there you go you can see that our Spanish news file is already there download it and then right down here at the bottom is our new flashcard deck so uh, we're going to fire it up and we can now carry these these uh, these words and phrases with us wherever we go and uh, use it as a way to learn. So, um, let's have a look. Una relación amorosa. Let's see, what does that mean? A uh, loving relationship. There we go. Fantastic. Next. Según los científicos. Um, according to scientists. Yes, bang on. Last one. Las buenas intenciones. Um, well, that's good intentions. There we go. So, it's a very simple process, guys, from, from finding the language on the web. A bit of judicious selecting and exporting into Excel, and then putting the Excel spreadsheet directly into the app. It's as simple as that, and you can now carry this with you wherever you go. So good luck, have a play around with it, and let me know if you've got any questions.